Hi everyone, it's Be Divine and welcome to uh, Divine Miracles channel. Hope you've had an awesome weekend. Uh, here is the mini tarot forecast for the Earth Science. Now, I am using the um, Hanson Roberts deck for the readings today. They're just very quick little updates for you all. And I'm going to be starting on off with Capricorn, then Taurus, then Virgo. Okay. Um, and remember you can check your moon and your rising sign, your Venus sign as well. I try to incorporate as much as I can um, into each card. Of course, if you want something more in depth, please check out my website, divinemiracles.com. Okay, here we go. Capricorn, what's going on? Capricorn, the Four of Cups is with you. Okay, so this is a time of contemplation. You're not noticing that there's a. Um, golden cup coming to you from the heavens you're getting the information that you need fed to you um, but you, maybe you're just too sick and tired to be bothered about it there's a situation that's bringing you unhappiness and boredom you're sick of the same thing turning around and around and around again so there's something here about daydreaming and taking some time out for yourself because you really need it if you have not had a break for a really long time this is saying to you now's the time Maybe something's going to come up for you in the next week or two to allow for you to take a little bit of time out for yourself, not you and the family or you and the partner. It's for you yourself, okay? Going to a place that means a lot to you. Um, maybe it's possibly quite a little bit of a ways away, but it's going to be worth it to you to do that to recharge because you really do need to recharge. Something is about to occur that's going to change the way in which you see and feel everything something is being offered to you another opportunity for growth an opportunity for abundance and for love in your life so don't be too preoccupied with everything else that's going on around you to notice it okay be open to noticing the signs that are around you for those of you who are going through um, changes uh, in relationships and maybe thinking about the past etc don't beat yourself up upon reflection, you know? People choose to do what they want to do. And you can't blame yourself throughout your life for the things other people do to you, you know? And thinking that you're less than because you were treated badly. No. What everyone else does in their life is on them. It's their problem. It really is. And you can either allow it to, to bother you or you can allow yourself to learn from it and push past it and that's what the message is for you guys to do now is push past the push past the past don't own it anymore change everything into something completely different for yourself okay if you hear a strange noise out there it's raining all of a sudden i haven't had rain in texas for three months or something since i've been here i've been doing a whole lot of rain dances though <laughs> With my shamanic work so maybe it's happened okay taurus hello taurus let's see what's going on with you I'm gonna go live real soon you guys i'm getting ready to travel back to australia by next saturday so um i'm gonna go live soon okay taurus Okay, so we've got these emotional cards for the um, <laughs> the earth signs are getting the emotions coming up. Okay, Taurus, the Queen of Cups is on your mind. This is an energy um, of someone who's warm, um, tender, intuitive, knowledgeable, um, a mother perhaps, someone's mother, someone with motherly-like uh, qualities. This can even be a male who has a soft side. You know someone with a soft gentle side and for Taurus it's like you're uh, embarking on a time of discovering your emotions discovering what you really feel about situations where you want to be heading into the future and why you might have allowed a lot of things to transpire in your past but you know you, you're just contemplating and you're just taking time out and this is really amazing for you to do as long as you don't overthink into the negative, you know, or allow something to build up on a negative viewpoint in your mind. 
or become angry about or bitter about the past as that's not helping you either. Whoa, did you guys hear that? That was a pretty, pretty big thunder there going on. <laughs> yeah, don't allow anything from the past to upset your future, you know. Oh my God. Okay, so we see the queen here, um, you know, poised and calm and confident. And that's, the, that's the, the feeling that you need to have within yourself now. And also remember that you're being given spiritual gifts of prophecy, clairvoyance. Your abilities may start to open as you reflect and believe in yourself too. I feel someone's receiving a gift. Someone's going to get something unexpected in the mail in the next week or two. Um, or someone's going to call you and say you've won something. There's something exciting in the air for Taurus. Okay, so just be open to that feeling, you know, and uh, grab it as it comes through, all right? You're doing a lot of healing, a lot of contemplating, a lot is changing for you on an inner level, which is going to start to be reflected on an outer level too, okay? So this is really positive for, for Taurus. And if you've been waiting for someone to come into your life, maybe this is the time it's happening. Okay, um, Virgo. And the thunder's gonna happen again, Virgo. Okay, Virgo. Virgo is going through the Five of Pentacles. Okay, so for Virgo, you know, this is leaving you now, this, this feeling of not having, this feeling of lack, um, a feeling of being unsupported, you know, um, a feeling like everything you're doing is is making things worse or whatever it is that you've been going through in your mind it's been a bit upsetting some of you may have had some physical problems happening um, this last week or two where you know some kind of illness has come to the forefront and uh, you know it comes up so in order for healing like whenever we are well we're not noticing that there's much healing going on when we're sick we definitely notice if there's a change you know um, and it's when some kind of poison is coming out. I had this huge abscess last week and I'm a Virgo rising. Um, this, it, I just look like I've been sucker punched straight in the face. I had a, a lump out like this and my whole face was out like it, just all of a sudden like overnight. And to me, it was okay, I've released some poison, you know, in my body and my mind, in my heart. And because it's on the, it was on the left hand side of me, it's, you know, some kind of female influence a feminine influence and I finally let it out you know so you may be going through a time of deep healing and change you may feel like you've got no money or money is tight um, situations have been tight so we just need to focus on the angels taking care of that situation for us not live in that lack feeling and maybe that's a reminder to not live in lack okay it could be something coming up where you're gonna have to spend a lot of money you know but then say to yourself you know, there's more where that came from. I might be giving it out here, but it's going to be replenished. You know, it's all a mindset. So the mindset is changing. Okay, don't believe that you're going to always be in the same position as you've always been in. Believe that things are always continually changing and it changes quickly with the way in which we think about it. You know, so what we're thinking about brings about change. So don't worry too much about this card as in being some kind of negative thing or whatever. It's just showing you that you've reached this point and now you're going to get to the next point, you know. And it's going to be easy because you've learnt a lot with this process. And you've learnt a lot through your experiences. There are people coming to support you, um, Virgo. So keep positive. Um, for those of you who are going through um, big changes in your life um, with regards to location and home and family and loved ones and things like that, hang in there, okay? There's a reason behind everything and soon you're going to see the blessings, you know, the reason why and the blessings that are there too. So, uh, if you want more in-depth readings, of course, check out my website um, and I've got lots of different specials on there. Um, but until the next time, sending you lots of love and light, many, many blessings, and bye for now.